Good afternoon YouTube. I think it's time I build up one of these battery packs. So what I have here, these are my tested pairs of cells. I have, or I had, 150 of those and they're arranged in groups of 10 pairs. I've already pulled four packs out of here so there's already 40 pairs missing out of this group but what I want to do is show you how this uh, spreadsheet really helps in building the packs. These are my uh, final battery holders here. I have both a black on the negative side and a red one for the positive side and the way these holders work you put your cell in like that you put the top on that way there's some spacers that go here on the end and in the middle to hold these together and then you do your um, fuse wires and your jumper wires here you'll you'll solder a wire from this central point over to the wire and do that on all 10 pair of cells I'll put the fuse wires on the positive side and then you have your conductors are run along this channel inside here and then come out the end and I'll have some connectors on the end that I can use and then in the middle there's actually a screw and I have a terminal and that's where I'll connect the negative of this pack to the positive of the next one and this positive here will connect to the negative of the one before it that's how you build up your 4 or 7S pack. You just stack multiple holders together. There's little spacers that go between these. So let me show you how this spreadsheet really comes in handy here. So I'm building my fifth pack here. So I need pack number 5. It tells me I need cell 116. So here's 50. Here's 100. And right there is number 116. And this is how I've been labeling the cells. I label this came out of a Dell laptop battery. I gave it a serial number 116. It tested out at 4.16 volts out of the original battery pack. And I think this is one of the cells that I did not discharge first. And so I I let it sit for a few weeks. It was still 4.16 volts and you can see how this one came out about 700 milliamp hours higher than my average but this capacity I think might have been artificially high because I tested it at 4.16 volts instead of 4.10 so I suspect this one if I test it at 4.1 it's going to have a slightly lower number but anyway that's how I do that so I have 116 the next one it says 14 so I go 10 11 12 13 this should be number 14 and there we go 0014 my next cell is 62 so there's 60 so there's 62 so let me uh, go through the rest of these and we'll build up the pack. I'll probably fast forward this part. That one, 33 goes in. 76. Five, that should be one, 125. Three should be right here. 103. 145 should be over here. There we go, 145, 90, that should be 1, right up there, there's 91, and the last one, 55, so there's 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, should be this guy, and there you go, 55, put together my 10 pairs of cells there, so I guess the next step is I'm going to go put these in the power shelf in one of the banks of cell holders and I'll get these plugged in. I gotta clean them up a little bit because of the way the cell holders are. I've got to cut cut some of these ends of the tabs 
and then some of these have a little bit of adhesive on them so I've got to clean those up a bit so we'll do a little cleanup and the next step is we'll put these ten pairs into the power shelf holders and then we can do a first charge so we'll show you how that looks when I get a chance to plug these in and then once I'm happy with these I can cycle them for maybe a couple of weeks put them on my solar charge controller and let them run for a while and make sure all the cells are happy with each other and make sure they, they stay reasonably balanced and then I can move them over to the permanent cell holders, put them together and I don't have to touch them again. So the idea is play with them in the power shelf before I uh, commit to the work to put them into the uh, final holders. Anyway, that is my plan. So I'll show you what this looks like when I get it get all the cells cleaned up and we'll we'll slam those in the power shelf and hook up the charger and see how they go. So stay tuned for that video if you have any questions about the uh, selection process, put that in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching.